Tonight, the National Wrestling Alliance, in association with Walker, Texas Lawyer and Diet Productions, present a very special tribute to Houston wrestling and to the legendary man behind its creation. In the next hour, you will see and hear, in their own words, the stories and memories of Paul Bosch from his lovely wife Valerie and son Joey, from NWA President R. Bruce Tharp and NWA Vice President and the promoter who is carrying on the Bosch wrestling legacy in Houston, Chris Ronquillo. In addition to the memories of Houston wrestling's past, we look forward by showcasing Houston wrestling's future. For the first time ever, NWA Houston makes its network television debut on ABC 13 with two blockbuster championship matchups. This is our tribute to the legacy of Paul Bosch. This is NWA Houston's Parade of Champions. My name is Bruce Tharp, and I am the president of the National Wrestling Alliance. My name is Chris Runquillo. I'm the vice president of the National Wrestling Alliance. We are here to honor the legacy and the memory of Paul Bosch, one of the greatest wrestling promoters in history. Paul Bosch uh, left a phenomenal legacy, not only on the National Wrestling Alliance, but on the wrestling world. Uh, itself. He was one of the greatest wrestling promoters of all time. You know, Paul Bosch is, he blazed a path that, that no one can, can duplicate, but we can sure as heck emulate. Uh, Paul Bosch did it right. One of the main legacies that Paul Bosch left is that he was a man of honesty and integrity, and all of the wrestlers wanted to work for Paul Bosch in Houston because he had a reputation as being one of the best payoff men in the business. He was extremely fair. And uh, I was fortunate enough to work with uh, Paul Bosch when I was in law school. I was fortunate enough to, to get to know him on a personal basis. And not only was he a great wrestling promoter, he was a great man. It, it goes way back. And so uh, my son would be performing here in Houston and so Paul would have Joey come in to Houston to uh, perform. And uh, then uh, he would be in, Houston, in Port Arthur at Channel 4. And so he came to Port Arthur and for television that afternoon. And uh, he said, if that young man's listening, I'd like to invite him down to wrestling, to only uh, while filming the uh, wrestling match there in Port Arthur. And so, uh, so then he would come to Port Arthur and uh, for wrestling, and he'd invite us down to the studio. And then he started coming to Houston and uh, performing on telethons, my son. And so things over the years, and uh, in, in, in '80, and Mom, Mom and Paul were married in '82. Uh, yeah. And so, the rest is history. Under the guidance of Paul Bosch, for well over 30 years, Houston wrestling was a staple in the community and went live across the airwaves on KHTV Channel 39. From Space City, USA, Paul Bosch presents Wrestling Spectacular. Matching the world's top wrestlers in fierce competition.
Whether you're a weekend warrior or a serious professional, injuries can happen at any time. Don't trust your recovery to just anyone. Go to Aldine Healthcare. Aldine Healthcare specializes in auto and sport injuries. 281-999-5300. That's 281-999-5300. Don't trust your recovery to just anyone. Trust it to Aldine Healthcare. championship and an opportunity to take that next big step in his career just a month after he almost won the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. But in order to do that, he's going to have to get through this man. There's only one man and his name is Mike Dell. wrestling. Led to the ring tonight by the beautiful Barbie Hayden. Mike Dell is everything they say he is. He is the NWA Lone Star Junior Heavyweight Champion. He has been that champion for some time. Many competitors have stepped up to the plate, but none have come close to dethroning Mike Dell. Tonight, one man Mike Dell has an opportunity to knock off perhaps the hottest man in NWA Houston right now in Ray Rowe. Another matchup that could headline any card in the world. We got it for you right here at Parade of Champions. Brought to you by Walker, Texas Warrior. No lack of confidence from the NWA Lone Star Junior Heavyweight Champion. He's gonna have his hands full here tonight, folks. But so is Ray Rowe. The beautiful Barbie Hayden here. And that's all the inspiration you need right there for the NWA Lone Star Women's Champion. Night of prestige, a night to honor the legendary Paul Bosch. I can't think of a better way to honor him than with these two competitors putting it on the line here tonight. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ray Rowe, Mike Dell. Shaking a show of respect right there. 
ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get a whole much better than this, I tell you. Two tremendous athletes. Started off collar and elbow tie up into a wrist lock. Wrist lock behind from Dell. Headlock from Dell. out there. Start transitions from behind. Once again, Mike Dell. And now, beautiful maneuver there from Ray Rowe. Reversal into a waist lock. A nice bridge from Dell coming back. Tremendous chain wrestling from these two in the opening moments of this junior heavyweight championship matchup. On top comes Ray Rowe. This is what professional wrestling is all about, folks. If you're looking for sports entertainment, you came in the wrong place tonight. Dell from behind now with a grip with a wrist lock. Into a headlock. Pass him. What do you got, Ray? These two respect the hell out of each other. You can see in the way they're wrestling, beautiful reversal there as Rowe kicks out. See that pressure on the wrist and forearm of Ray Rowe into a pin. No. Wrestling continues. Rowe now working that arm. Wrist lock. And now Ray Rowe. Pouring on right here. He wants to finish this thing early. Ray Rowe, nice reversal. Rowe, head scissors, reversal. Both of these stars have very similar pedigrees, very similar styles. Two guys who have worked their way up in the sport of professional wrestling, they've never been handed anything. And both of them have fought and worked and bled for this opportunity here tonight. And one of the biggest stages for the National Wrestling Alliance, Parade of Champions. Waist lock from behind, Ray Rowe once again. The quicker of the two. Waist lock Dell. Ray back to a vertical base. Waist lock Ray. Throws Dell down. And you can see the difference in power right there. Dell gets to the rope, and he's going to have to break it. And referee Scott Zenzen right there. Excellent job. One of the best officials in the National Wrestling League. And it looks like it may be disintegrating here. Oh, and a close fist right there from Ray Rowe. Throwing out the rule book, close, clubs to the back. Oh, my goodness. And a chop that sounds like a bomb went off in the middle of that ring. Beautiful crucifix from Dell. Will he get him over? No, Ray Rowe. Look at the power of Rowe. Nice roll up from Dell. He may have him here, too. No. Cross body from Dell. Caught in midair from Rowe. Ball away slam from Ray Rowe. Nicely done. And a huge elbow from Ray Rowe to Mike Dell. Trying to take over momentum and control of this matchup. Ray Rowe. Oh, and a drop kick right there sends Rowe to the outside, but he caught himself. Very nimble indeed. But wait a minute, Mike Dell now with a head of steam. And Dell dives through the ropes to the outside. A suicide dive to the outside right out here in front of us. 
Mike Dill knows what this is for, and he's not ready to hand that NWA Lone Star Junior Heavyweight Championship away. He's not just going to give it up like that. Rowe takes a springboard right there from Dell. Cover here. And just a two count. These two are elevating the pace, elevating the action in there. And it has broken down from chain wrestling into these two just scrapping with each other right now. Off the ropes, and Mike Dell beats an elbow to the face unceremoniously. Cover. Two. No. Quick kick out from Mike Dell. Oh, beautiful side suplex from Mike Dell. From Ray Rowe on Mike Dell, rather. Turns him inside out with a clothesline coming back. Kick out. And Ray Rowe can't believe it. Look at the expression on his face. He thought he had him there. Ray Rowe, Mike Dell talk a little smack to each other in there and a huge chop. Dell comes back. Oh! And the back of his neck meets the tip of Ray Rowe's kneecap, and that could spell disaster. Here's the cover, hooks the leg, and almost got him two and eight tenths. So close. And now Mike Dell back in control. Ray Rowe back in control. A seesaw battle for the NWA Lone Star Junior Heavyweight Championship. A title that has been held by many stars in the annals of NWA Houston. Ray Rowe has been on an incredible hot streak. Mike Dell has been that champion for some time and no one has been able to dethrone him. Tonight, something's gotta give. Only one man can leave with that title. Both men just out of exhaustion right there. Dell goes for the cover. Almost got him. Roll up here. Oh, what a beautiful submission maneuver. And if he can sit on one of this arm bar right here, he may have him. Mike Dell entering Ray Rose territory in the martial arts background. He may have to tap. Mike Dell has been studying some film on Ray Rowe. Oh, look at the power of Ray to pick him up. Oh, and he's still holding on to that arm bar. He may break that arm. He may break that arm. Can Ray get to the rope? He's in the rope. He's got to break the hold. And this NWA Houston crowd loving what they're seeing right now. Ray Rowe, underneath, oh, and both men meet in the middle of the ring. My goodness, it looks like a car crash. The first man to get to a vertical base is definitely going to have an advantage here. The question is, can either of them do it? My God. These two have taken so much out of each other. Ray coming back with a huge right hand. Dell with a right hand. Ray coming back. Dell coming back. Ray coming back. Dell ducks underneath. Oh! Ray Rowe goes face first into the mat. Cover. One, two. He almost had him, two and nine tenths, and he would have
help retain that junior heavyweight title. Oh, beautiful, beautiful Northern Light suplex from Ray Rowe into a cover. Hooks the leg. No! Two counter, that's all he got. Nothing to be said. This is Very nice. Uh, Dell coming back again. Right hand from Mike Dell and another one. He is not just going to give that title away. He's going to fight till his last breath. Here comes Mike Dell. Row. Double knees in the corner. A signature array, Row. Row. Pulls him to the middle of the ring. The cover, no! He almost got him again! Ray Rowe, with a look of disbelief on his face, he doesn't know what he needs to do to put Mike Dell away. I gotta tell you folks, if this isn't death row right here, I don't know what is. He's calling for it. He's put a lot of stars away with this move. Dell responds. Oh, Dell with that signature twisting suplex. No! And somehow, Ray Rowe got that hand up. wondering what he needs to do. Is it Delbo time? He's gonna try and put him away again. Wait, row from behind. Beautiful reversal, death row. Middle of the ring. Two, we got a new champion. We got a new champion. Ray Row has done it. When disaster strikes, call Walker.
I remember one of the first times that I met Mr. Bosch was in 1984. I had come to Houston to start law school and um, I had been in the wrestling profession for several years prior to that and uh, found myself in Houston in law school and I was no longer in the wrestling business. And for those of us that have been in, the, in this profession, once wrestling gets in your blood, it's very difficult to get out. And so within about two weeks of being in Houston for law school, I found myself uh, knocking on the door of Paul Bosch's office, downtown Houston, asking for a job. And uh, he certainly didn't need to hire me. He didn't have any openings that necessarily needed to be filled. But he hired me because uh, he was just a great man. And um, I'll never forget his kindness. That's the first time I met Paul Bosch. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, and Mid-South Wrestling was just absolutely on fire. And I heard about this promotion over in Houston that was doing similar things. And when I moved here, I just had to, to look into it and find out, you know, what this promotion was all about. And, you know, when you Google huge Houston Wrestling, when you, when you search the internet, Paul Bosch's name is synonymous with anything that ever happened good here. And I just found that the way he conducted himself, the professionalism, the excitement that seemed to be around him, and the great reputation that he had were things that, um, you know, I respected an awful lot and they've had a great influence on me. Paul Bosch was a tremendous influence on a lot of wrestlers. Paul Bosch was a role model for a lot of wrestlers. A lot of wrestlers followed his example of being a gentleman. He was very polite. The way he treated his wife, the way he dressed was impeccable. Paul Bosch was very influential in the lives of many wrestlers, one of which was uh, Gino Hernandez, who, the late Gino Hernandez, who was uh, born and raised in Houston. Gino's father was a wrestler who uh, was killed in Japan when Gino was at a very young age. So Paul Bosch, took Gino under his, under his wing and basically became a surrogate father to Gino Hernandez when he was young. And uh, actually Gino had his very first wrestling match right here in Houston for Paul Bosch. Well, I went along with him every match in the Houston Coliseum and other places in Houston where he um, also performed, had uh, uh, shows uh, wrestling shows. This is his studio and it's the same as it has always been in these last 30 years. And the, uh, the wrestling is a very uh, part of us. That's the reason I left this, uh, his uh, office here so people could come and see his life and I'll always keep it this way. If ever there were an example that life is more than a sum of its parts. Paul Bosch would be that example. More than just a professional wrestling promoter, Paul Bosch was a highly decorated war hero. His library and body of work stand as just a small portion of the long and incredible legacy that he has left behind. There's one thing that I think the audience should know, that it means a lot to Joey and I to carry on and to find someone like Chris with integrity and uh, to carry on the torch in which he uh, said that he will do, and I trust him. And so with high hopes and big shoes to fill, the torch was officially passed to Chris Ronquillo AKA Tony Brooklyn. Houston Wrestling lives again. <laughs>